Hello, everybody, and welcome to Online... <coughs> welcome to Online Growth Systems, where you get stuff done and make money. <laughs> On today's episode, we are going to be going over the success principle known as the 80-20 rule. Alright, so I like to get started with a joke. So today's joke is, what do you call an alligator that joins the detective force? You got it? If you get, didn't get it, and write it down in the comments before I said this. It's called an investigator. <laughs> investigator. Okay, so let's dive into it. Pareto's principle also known as the 80-20 rule, also known as the law of vital few, which is also known as the principle of factor scarcity. And uh, what that all means is it's essentially the same law in business, economics, even in your personal life. And it was originally founded and named uh, by a man named Joseph Durin, who named it after an Italian economist named Vilfredo Barreto. And he was uh, actually in university in the 1800s, and he wrote a paper, his actually very first paper in university was called Curs de Economie Politique. And what that paper was about was that he noticed that in the Italian economy, 80% of the land in Italy was owned by only 20% of the population in Italy. He investigated further because he just thought that was such a phenomenon that he went on to find that that rule not only applied to the land, but also to the income, that 80% of the income was being made by 20% of the population. Then he looked into wealth, just sheer how much money do you have in the bank, how many assets do you have, what's your net worth, and he found out that, again, the same thing. And you might think, well, that makes sense. If you own land, you're typically wealthy, and if you make a lot of money, you're typically on a lot of land, you know, etc. But... Pareto went even further, and he discovered that uh, he noticed in his garden, in his backyard while he was attending university, uh, when, while he was writing this paper, that 80% of the peas, the peas, the little round peas that he got in from his garden only came from 20% of the pea pods. Think about that. Only 20% of the pea pods in his garden produced the majority of 80% of the peas. Now, of course, you know, you a lot of these 80-20 rules are rounded, but they're typically, that's about the ratio. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of what right now in 2017, that's when I'm filming this video, uh, but who knows, it could be the year 3017 for all I know when you're watching this, but in the year 2017, the richest 20% of the world right now own or have... 82%, 82.7% of the income. Even in 2017, you know, 200 years later after the Pareto Principle was essentially founded, this rule is still applying. So if you are in that lower 20% or in, in you're not part of the upper 20, there's good news that you can get there using Pareto's Principle to your advantage. Now let's get into that. Um... A lot of successful people, whether it's an Olympic athlete, whether it's a president of a country, um, whether it's a singer, songwriter, artist who's, you know, made it to the top, uh, or an entrepreneur that has an IPO worth billions of dollars, each person um, that I've researched, and each person that, if you just seriously just look it up, just look up interviews with uh, famous people, wealthy people, successful people, and you will see a lot of them attribute their success to focusing on what works best for them and cutting out everything else. And a lot of people, to be exact, 80% of the people in the world struggle with that. Otherwise, they would be part of that 20%. If you look at a pie chart, 100% of what you do, 80% of what you're doing is making 20% of your income, you might say, yeah, but I need that 20%. If I if I make $100,000 a year and 80% of my work is making me 20 grand and 20% of my work 
of my effort and my time is making me eighty thousand dollars i need to live i need to live i need ninety five thousand dollars to live so the hundred percent i need a hundred thousand dollars to right to, to even prosper a little bit so if i cut back and only do the twenty percent of my stuff and i'm only making eighty grand i'm short fifteen thousand but it's not how you got to think about it you have to think how can i duplicate that 20% of my pie of my time effort to, in, to include as much of that 100% of that pie as humanly possible. So a great guy to look up who has got success tips. Uh, first of all, watch a couple of my videos. I dive even deeper into this concept. Um, but someone that you should look up is someone named Tim Ferriss. And in case you haven't uh, heard of him, he's the author of The 4-Hour Workweek. Um, cut out 80% of what he did and focused on that 20% and increased it to, let's just say that 40%, right? Let's just say he doubled it to 40% and he had 60% of his effort and time free, right? But now think about this. If that same model of 100,000, so if 20% of your time is making $80,000, you double it to 40% of your time makes $160,000. And you get... 60% of your time that you used to commit to work to enjoy that $160,000. Now I know I'm throwing out a lot of a lot of numbers, but hopefully the visuals and the concept is what you're trying to grasp. That's what I'm trying to give you today in today's lesson. So what you're supposed to do is, so what I do on a daily basis is I try to focus on that 20% and what, what 20%, you need to do a self-analysis. Write down on a piece of paper every task that you do throughout your work day, throughout your work week, and you list them in order of, not importance, in order of productivity. What what effects or what, what causes produce how much percentage of my effects? So that's essentially what the Pareto's principle is about, is it talks about how 20% uh, of causes result in 80% of the effects cause and effect. Um, so you can apply that to relationships. 20% of your relationships uh, results in 80% of your happiness in 80% of the time that you spend, right? I mean, think about that. I spend a lot of time with like maybe three or four close friends and then my family, right? So those 10 relationships easily account for 80% of my time. Right, and then I have you know 200 other friends. I mean, look at Facebook. You've got a thousand friends that you know friends on Facebook, and they probably account for collectively between that 800 people 20% of your time. And you focus on the rest on your the 10 that are important to you. Um, you can use it. Oh, bump the camera a little bit. <laughs> you can use the Pareto's principle to not only your job, you know, your income, to your employees. Which employees are working for you that are producing? 80% of your results. What habits are producing 80% of your happiness? What music are you listening to that are producing 80% of your joy? What 20% of books are you reading yield an 80% of taking action after reading the book? Right? If you read a book and learn something but you never take action on it, what's the point? Um, so I want you to really analyze yourself. Look at that list that you wrote down and figure out what items during your week that you get the most results from and it's gonna I want you to for every 10 lit items I want you to cross out eight of them I want you to circle two and those are the two that you continue to focus on and you try to cut the other eight out of your life out of your work week out of your relationships out of your employees um, whatever it is that you're applying to gardening <laughs> I don't know you know whatever it is that you're watching this video for um, I want you to look at that, but I also want to mention the Pareto's principle has one weakness and that it doesn't take into account, uh, another video that I've done is actually on something called a loss leader and the 80, 20 principle is completely against the loss leader, but you need a little bit of both as Socrates says, the truth is in the balance. And you have to find a balance between your love life, your work life, your entrepreneurship, your job, whatever it is, your gardening, um, to find that balance between those two concepts, between Pareto's principle and between the loss leader concept. So 
you can click the link or whatever you can see the little clip right here but click the link below to check out the video on uh, a lost leader and essentially I'm not going to go too deep into it but it talks about how you need something that gets people in the door get something to get started that might not yield in a lot of results directly but it yields a lot of secondary benefits thanks guys for watching I appreciate you uh, checking it out make sure you smack that subscribe button so hard that it sues you I don't know <laughs> I promise I won't sue you unless you don't click subscribe Ooh. <laughs> alright thanks guys for watching talk to you next time make sure that you click right no that this right it's this way it's this way don't go that way there's nothing there. Make sure you check out one of these videos over here and smack that subscribe button and make sure that you get notified when I come out with some other killer content. So thanks for watching. See you next time.